dollars of federal money that came from drug seizures. One county supervisor we showed our information we uncovered to wasn't very pleased to see what we had to show him. It's about his priorities and how he, he uses the money that he's given. Milwaukee County Board Supervisor Ian Biddle backs the move to audit the federal forfeiture fund of Sheriff David Clark. But for the most part, he does have broad authority to use and manage his department how he sees fit. Some supervisors have blasted Clark because of difficult budget decisions he has made over the past few months. The I team took a look at how the sheriff has used the forfeiture money in the past. One example, from 2007 to 2009, he spent more than 43,000 bucks on new badges. But he was allowed to do that under the law. It seems like the sheriff really likes badges, changing the uh, type of badge that he wears and his, his staff and, and employees wear. The sheriff refused to speak to us on camera today. A spokeswoman says he might speak to us tomorrow, but only under certain conditions. In the meantime, defenders have pointed out some of the forfeiture money has gone to other causes like after school programs. But Biddle wonders if all the money was really spent on things that will help keep the public safe. How does that ensure public safety to Milwaukee County residents? How does that make government more efficient? And coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, County Executive Chris Abley will weigh in on this subject, too. He has some interesting perspectives. On your side, live in Milwaukee, Rob Coble, today's TMJ4. All right, Rob.